Well, this is, uh, what is this, day 17 of the 31 days of August. I'm here at uh, the Suwon World Cup Stadium, surrounded by Mugunghwa, Roses of Sharon. And I'm, right now I'm just waiting for uh, a log sheet to dry out a little bit before I replace it. It was pretty wet. When I was growing up, people who played golf were rich, they were members of the country club. So I always associated it, and I think people in my family kind of associated it with an elitist sport that um, working class people didn't play golf. <clears throat> but that was a long time ago. Things have changed. A lot of working class people play golf. Apparently it's good exercise. Maybe I should consider it. There's a, there's a cache behind this thing. I think it's supposed to be magnetic, but it was kind of like, like wedged in a, a little opening at the bottom there. So I just put it back there. I guess that's where it's supposed to be. But, uh, of course, it's right across from where the, uh, who's that person who, who, the host or hostess standing right there that, uh, greets you when you walk in the restaurant while he's standing there all the time. <laughs> so, well. It's, it's become kind of comical to me how Koreans place caches in deliberately open places. This cache could have been put a few meters this way, a few meters that way. But no, it had to be right in front of the door of the restaurant. I was also disappointed. I found out this was this cache was called Bear Mountain, so I didn't wear underwear to make it easy. And then I get up here and find out it's B-E-A-R Mountain. <sighs> Little disappointments in life. All right, so I think that's four caches. That's enough for today. I got to get back. I got stuff to do. I got a listening lesson tomorrow. I haven't even chosen. The listening text yet. I you I you. It's a pro bono lesson. I don't get paid for it, but I still like to do a good job. All right, everybody. That uh, that was my geocaching adventure for today. From Mike of Korea. As I get ready to go back to America next year, shaking in my boots and pee in my pants, thinking about it, but. Uh, I am thinking uh, Mike of Korea is going to have to change, isn't it? A new channel? You can't change the channel. You can't change the name of your existing channel. I don't think. I'm going to look into that, but I don't think you can. So Mike of Korea might have to get a new channel. Or, I don't know. What do you think? Any ideas what I should do when I get back to America? new channel or just stay Mike of Korea in America. Thanks for watching. Alright, so this is an addendum. I stopped in at uh, Sam Ryan's as you saw and uh, I had a 250 of Pole Garden while I waited for my fish and chips. Then when my fish and chips came, I needed another 250 of Pole Garden. So, I have uh, 500 milliliters of Pole Garden inside me and some delicious fish and chips inside me too. In my belly! Get in my belly! It was delicious. I highly recommend it, so uh, I, I give it a five star. And I give it a thumbs up. Uh, go, go try Sam Ryan's Fish and Chips in Hogarth. Good stuff. All right, that's, uh, that's my addendum. Even though I did sign off earlier, this is the real sign off. Thanks for watching.